welcome to another Health Essentials Podcast. I'm John Horton, your host. Did you know that no two people on earth have the same color eyes? Whether your peepers are brown, blue, green, or, or some other hue, that shade is one of a kind and absolutely unique to you. But here's a question, does that color ever change? Can it get darker or lighter or just completely different? That question made us curious, which is why we reached out to ophthalmologist Nicole Bayich and asked her to join us today. Dr. Bayich is one of the many trusted experts at Cleveland Clinic who pop into our weekly podcast to help us learn a little more about our bodies. So with that, let's find out whether it's possible for your brown eyes to turn blue. Dr. Bayich, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, always a great time talking with you. You as well. Thank you so much for having me. Before we get into the, the nuts and bolts as to whether or not your eyes can, can change color, um, can you educate us a little bit just about how eyes get their color in, in the first place? Uh, the basis for eye color is determined genetically, meaning you get it from your parents. Darker colors like brown typically have more uh, melanin, melanin, which is a pigment that de determines pigmentation in our skin and eyes and hair. And so you'll see that the darker colors like brown have more melanin and lighter colors have less. It's as simple as that. What is there? Is there a color that is kind of the, the, the most common and, and what would be the least common? Sure. So brown is the most common uh, color for eyes. Uh, and then blue tends to be the next most common. Uh, and they say green is typically the rarest of eye colors. About 2% of the population have it. However, uh, in patients with albinism, which is uh, the lack of pigment uh, in the hair, skin, and um, rest of the body, uh, you'll see that some of them might have a pinkish or red appearance to their eyes. And that's just because of the lack of melanin. And what about multicolors? I know like my eyes, I've got brown eyes, but I've got a, I've got a green ring that kind of goes around the outside too. I mean, is that a, is that common or, or do a lot of people have multicolor going? Sure. Yeah. So there can be natural variations uh, throughout the iris. That's the colored muscle that's inside of the eye, which is what we say the color of our eyes are. And so you'll naturally have, you know, different pigmentation throughout. Uh, in some, it's more obvious than others, especially if you have lighter eyes. However, uh, people with lighter eyes, if they have, you know, a birthmark on their iris, you know, that might be something to, you know, keep an eye on as well. So uh, always a, a good reason to to go see your eye doctor. I did not know you could have a birthmark on your iris. In addition to other parts of the eye as well. When it comes to eyes changing color, um, let's start with babies. And uh, I always thought the eye color that you're born with, um, it usually doesn't hang around all that long, right? Correct. So most babies are born with maybe a, a grayish uh, or even bluish uh, tinge to their eyes. Uh, however, as they get older, and you know this can vary, uh, typically three to nine months, um, maybe most around six months, we'll notice the change in eye color. However, it can take up to three years uh, until the final eye color is is determined. I, I'm assuming that all kind of goes back to the that melanin production that you were talking about. And it's, you know, the same thing with hair color too, right? So you'll see, you know, as uh, children get older, you know, sometimes their hair color can change too. Genetics, genetics can be a funny thing. Well, I'm familiar with the hair color change. Um, this would be my father's hair that I uh, currently picked up about 10 years ago. So <laughs> coloring definitely adjusts over time. So you had mentioned that babies, the eye colors change uh, up to three years. What about after that? Do we keep seeing kind of some modifications in the coloring of your eyes? Uh, typically, no. So if someone is, you know, older, especially as an adult, and they notice, you know, any change, that could be a, a signal that there is some sort of pathology or disease process going on. Uh, so if there is a sudden change, you know, that should definitely uh, signal someone to get it checked out. Okay. So there's no, cause I know you, you look around online and you see things where they're like sunlight can change it or just, uh, uh, you know, uh, time uh, that, that it can just, the shade will vary a little bit. Sure. So that's, uh, 
a lot of that can be an optical illusion, right? So, you know, especially if someone has, you know, lighter colored eyes, if they're wearing a certain tone uh, color in their shirt, maybe it brings out more of the blue in their eyes or green. And so, you know, your eyes aren't actually changing from blue to green moment to moment. Uh, it can be just, you know, a, an optical illusion based off of, you know, what the color palette is, you know, next to you, just like, you know, with hair color too. So, uh, you know, for ladies who have, you know, highlights in their hair, sometimes, uh, you know, in, especially in brighter sunlight, you know, their hair is going to look lighter uh, versus, you know, other lighting conditions where their hair is going to look darker or, you know, depending on the kind of, you know, shirt they're wearing, uh, you know, whatever color is, is next to it, you know, you'll see different tones being brought out. Are there any, you had mentioned just like injury and, or illness. I mean, could that do anything to change the color of your eye where you need to kind of go in right away if you see something? Absolutely. In fact, I saw a patient just recently who uh, had noticed a change in one of the eye colors and they came in and they ended up having something going on that we had to take care of. So uh, it can absolutely signify, you know, something uh, more nefarious going on. So uh, in terms of eye color changing, you know, over time, um, typically, you know, it's some sort of disease process. Uh, if it's with the iris, you know, maybe there's loss of pigmentation or, or atrophy of the iris, meaning the muscle is getting thinner over time. And so, you know, if you're losing pigment from the iris, it can appear lighter. Uh, that can be for a variety of reasons, uh, you know, maybe due to like a virus or, you know, some other process going on like glaucoma, uh, like pseudo exfoliation or pigment dispersion syndrome. Uh, but, you know, it's it's hard to say without without an eye exam. Uh, additionally, you know, it's very common as we're getting older, there's something called Arcus where you can see a white ring around the eyes. And some, some people can be quite prominent. And uh, it's some people might confuse that with their eyes turning blue just because it looks lighter. Uh, however, you know, it's, it's in a totally different part of the eye and is not the iris itself. Uh, and so it's, um, that, fo that fortunately is not anything uh, dangerous, but, you know, it's really hard for the lay person without a, a, our fancy microscopes to be able to diagnose themselves for it. So always good to, to come in to see us if needed. I, I'd imagine too, would things like, uh, I'd imagine cataracts, um, do those alter kind of the, the, the appearance of your eyes a little bit or the coloring? That's a good question. So cataract, all that a cataract is, is um, the eye has a lens, kind of like a camera has a lens inside it. Uh, I know now we're used to our iPhones being our cameras, but I guess the old fashioned cameras where there was a, an actual uh, lens. The old school ones, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the old school ones. So, so the, uh, the eye has a lens and that focuses light so we can see, right? That complex is behind the iris. So you're only seeing a tiny portion of the lens. When that lens starts to turn yellow and cloudy, that's all that a cataract is. However, you know, people who might have um, naturally more dilated pupils, you're going to see more of that lens or in older folks, you're going to see more of their cataract. And if they have a very advanced cataract where it's so advanced, it's not just yellow, it's white, that's the, one of the most advanced kinds you can have, uh, then, you know, people will see that and say, oh, you know, yeah, your eyes look lighter, but it's, it's really, they're just seeing the white cataract behind the uh, iris and pupil. Which would be a reason why if you start seeing a little bit of, you look in the mirror and you're like, that's not the color I remember, um, you should go in and, and see an eye doctor and kind of find out what's going on. Yeah, uh, chances are though, people without advanced cataracts are, are not going to be seeing well in the first place. But if they have someone telling them that their eyes look whiter and they're having trouble seeing, I mean, all, all the more reason to to come in to see us. Yeah, how would like you admit if you have an injury, uh, you get hit in the head or some, suffer some sort of eye injury? Like, how would that? change the color at all? Yeah, that's a great question. So uh, it can depend on what's going on, right? So uh, someone can get uh, with trauma, something called an eight ball hyphema, which means the entire front eye from part of the eye fills with blood. And so it looks like, oh, wow. an eight, it looks like an eight ball. And that's why we call it that uh, because the whole eye looks black. You can't see anything because it's all just filled up with blood and it's, it's darkened and, and uh, likely clotted. And so, uh, you know, that is 
definitely a good reason to come in to see an ophthalmologist. Yeah, I, I would say that that would definitely warrant a, uh, I think, a call or, or, or a visit right away if your eyes go black. <laughs> Any trauma to the iris, it can affect the shape of the pupil, um, which, you know, uh, can maybe confuse people with seeing like a change in eye color. Uh, if they had, you know, significant damage to the iris, you might be seeing a lot more of the pupil or it looks really irregular. And so maybe it'll look darker to some folks. Uh, or if you have long standing trauma from a virus and you've had atrophy to the iris, it could look lighter overall. Uh, if you have corneal uh, damage, corneal swelling, it can make the eye look a lot lighter. And I've had patients come in to see me for that too, where, you know, they're like, oh, my eyes suddenly turned white, uh, but it's a, a corneal problem. There's just very swollen and boggy, and then it actually looks white, foggy and white. And so it's, uh, you can't see inside the eye at all. You're not seeing any iris. It's just the foggy cornea. So it sounds like overall, like the, the coloring of your eye, if you do notice any changes, it's definitely a signal that that you should get something checked. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so bottom line, when, when we look at everything here, um, the odds that I'm going to look in the mirror at some point and see something other than the brown eyes I've been used to my whole life, it sounds like it's not going to happen. No, it's not going to happen. You know, maybe if you try a new purple eyeshadow, you'll bring out, you know, different colors in, in the eye. <laughs> Uh, but you know, a dramatic change, uh, in the absence of, you know, some sort of pathology, it's really unlikely. So my dream of getting blue eyes isn't going to happen. No, but that said, if you look on the internet, you know, you'll see some crazy, you know, things you could potentially do. None of which are ophthalmologists recommended, at least in the United States. Uh, so two things I just wanted to mention, uh, if you look online, you might find something, uh, called, uh, iris implants that can change the color of your eyes. We really do not recommend it. This is not FDA approved. Um, these are implants that, you know, one can have placed inside surgically into the eye uh, and it can give you the color of blue eyes, purple, green, whatever, you know, you might fancy. However, there is significant risk of glaucoma, not to mention infection, both of which can lead to blindness. So it is really, really not worth it. And you know, I have yet to hear of someone doing well with those implants. So it's, it's really not recommended. And there, there's a reason it's not approved in the United States. In addition to this, there's also a laser surgery that you could potentially get in order to lighten the color of your eyes. Typically, it lightens the color from brown to blue because you're um, applying a low dose laser to the iris in order to release pigment to show a lighter color underneath. Uh, however, this is also not recommended. It's not FDA approved. Uh, and so, you know, one of the big risks is with releasing all that pigment, you can get very high pressures. And it's not unlike uh, that pigment dispersion syndrome I was alluding to before, where, you know, releasing all of that material into the eye, it can clog up the drains inside the eye, leading to high pressure, causing glaucoma, causing vision loss, none of which are really worth it. It's really not, especially when you can just get colored contacts. That's great information, uh, as, as always, Dr. Bayich. Um, anything else to add? Or I think we've kind of covered the whole spectrum of uh, colors and changes in eyes here. You know, if you have any concerns or you've seen any changes, you know, we're just a phone call away. So, you know, if you haven't made your annual eye appointment, make sure to do it because you might not even notice that there's been a change, but, but we can. So uh, make sure to make an appointment with your local ophthalmologist. It's hard to argue with that advice, Dr. Baj. So thank you uh, so much for joining us today and uh, looking forward to having you back. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Right. Odds are the eye color you have now is pretty close to what you'll be seeing for the rest of your life. And if they do start to look a little different, talk to your eye doctor to find out the reason why. Till next time, be well.